What's up everyone, lovely Sham here and welcome back to my channel. It's been too long since I showed you a software demo. And today what we have here is Winx Media Trans, Winx Media Transfer. And it's a software which promises to be your replacement of iTunes. And a replacement in such a way that it's so much better, looks so much um, appealing to the eyes and not overwhelming for some people and uses words which are familiar and does not you know sound very confusing so it has uh, this syncing process which is not actually syncing it's adding and removing like a mass storage device and it's pretty simple now it has four features that it gives you photo music and video and flash drive so i'll talk about flash drive when we reach there and my iphone is currently connected it's an iphone 4 i use it as an ipod now as i was 7 on the home screen it's written and itunes uh, is installed in my computer so 7 gigabytes so around 8 gigabytes free iOS 7.1.2 and uh, let's let's start with photo transfer now if you had any photos on your um, iPod so I only have one that I clicked right now and if you click the export button it will be exported to your pictures and uh, why pictures so you have settings menu here you can see default paths for all the things which I should have shown you earlier but this is uh, right here the default paths you can change them anytime and this is the cache in app data and these are other options for hardware acceleration so it also converts your videos which i'll show you right now after this music manager now this music manager is actually um, like a mass storage uh, music manager for your device so these are all old songs uh, if you live in india please like a thumbs up if you you know recognize these songs i'm a huge fan for all songs and uh, click the add music button right here and choose any mp3 file and click the open button now click the sync button it's just adding it's not syncing and uh, one thing I want to show you and tell you is that it takes a lot of time so I'm not fast forwarding anything on this video so this video will be an actual um, you know the representation of the time that it takes to transfer this video file now this mp3 is around four to five megabytes and it already transferred it but I don't know why this pop-up is there and showing me that it's syncing the syncing logo has been long gone on my iPhone so it succeeded and I can see that on my iPhone now and I didn't want to show you my iPhone's pictures that it's transferred because you can see that on the video. And let me go back to the video option here which I was talking about earlier that can convert and let me click add video right here. So this this video how to convert single channel audio to two channel. Let me open it. Now it's not supporting the iPhone. Uh, the format is uh, very different so you can convert it by clicking a convert button so it's very simple and iTunes does that also it's not a new feature but I believe uh, they told me that it uh, does it faster quicker efficiently saves battery life for your laptop and all that stuff so um, you be the judge I don't want to tell you anything now for some reason everything takes a lot of time on this software to transfer now this is around 20 megabytes in this video and let's just see how much time does it take so I've clicked the sync button right here. This is actual time, not a fast forwarded video. And let's notice and see how much time does it takes. It's just a 20 megabytes video. And it's not any, you know, problem of the my PC and problem of the cable and the software. I don't know why does it take so much time. I'll prove that to you in my next feature, which is the flash drive. So the video has been transferred and this pop-up logo is actually waste because I can see the video in my iPhone and it takes so much time like 5 to 10 seconds extra for I don't know what reason and the software works as advertised does everything and this new feature which is right here is flash drive so it acts like a, a flash drive for your iPhone and converts your iPhone into a flash drive so nothing will be disturbed on your iPhone which is there if you have an empty space and let's see how much time does it take to transfer this this is a 50 megabytes uh, software and uh, it currently it just got transferred I mean it's I mean it took more than um, 30 seconds to transfer that mp3 file and it took 5 seconds to transfer this 50 megabytes file I don't know what's the problem with the software so you can delete and add things and why is it useful you say and let me tell you why so for example if you have two or three PCs in your house like I have and I do so purchase this license and by the way this is a paid software it's not a free software for everyone and uh, Purchase this, add it to, to two or three PCs in your uh, house. And if you don't have a pen drive handy, uh, so you can use your iPhone as a pen drive to transfer movies, videos, anything that you want to transfer. It works on uh, Mac also. And uh, if you like this video, click a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, click a dislike button. And uh, 
I'm open to suggestions how I can improve and if you have anything to say about the software, if you've used it, if you want to use it, if you don't want to purchase it, let me know all your problems in the comments down below and thanks again for watching.